Real Glamour TV. Choose the best African entertainment just at the tip of your finger. Together? There is no together. I mean, you're new. And all this is making me really uncomfortable. It's not appropriate. Is it not? Because I see you enjoying this and I know how you feel. Excuse me. Look, from the very first day I saw you, I knew fate brought us together. You are my destiny. What nonsense are you talking about? What are you saying? This madness has got to stop. Sit down. Listen, Eddie. I am not going to be part of whatever madness you have made up in your mind. Okay? I said, sit down. Sit down. I want us to talk about our relationship. You're not leaving. Enjoy your food. I am leaving. And if you try anything funny, I will scream down this building. And I want you to stay away from me henceforth. Sit. Pick, 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 pick your call. Hey, please pick. Pick your call, pick your call, pick your call. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Babe? Babe? Babe, please. Babe, it's Eddie. He said he wants to marry me. Yes, he said he wants to run away with me and he wants to he wants to take me away from here. As I'm talking to you right now, he's chasing me like he's he's following me. I'm scared, I'm scared that he's gonna hurt me. Um Yes, I'm 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 close to the gate. I'm close to the gate. But he's he's following me right now. Look at me, I'm scared, I'm so scared. Okay, all right, all right. Get off my way. When are you going to stop doing mm -hmm. this? Once you carry me to the room all the time. Because you're my baby. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Can you drop me? 
<laughs> oh goodness. Right. Ooh. I'm always your baby. <laughs> what? I can't believe that you soon become my wife. Best believe it, baby. Because it's about to happen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, was that why you were jealous today? Jealous? Mm -hmm. When? Oh, come on, stop the pretense. At the mall, I mean, when the lady was staring at me, I saw you. And I saw the way you were glaring at her. <laughs> Are you being serious? Look, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, oh come on. You do. You know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, I pardon what? you. Pardon me for what? It's understandable. I mean, you should be jealous. Having a handsome man like me, you know that. Get away from <laughs> me! Ah, you're too full of yourself, please. Uh -huh. Handsome man. Please get up, let's go make dinner. Another thing you give me back. I found a kiss. A kiss? Mm -hmm. Honey, let's go now. You're not hungry. Oh. Oh. So, can you please right. stand up and let's go make dinner? Okay. I'll be waiting. I'll be with you soon. Babe? Mm -hmm. You didn't ask about the office again. Uh, I don't know. I I just felt um, if it wasn't okay, you would have told me. Babe? What? <laughs> you really said that? Of course I'm serious. Look, I I didn't want to pressure into divulging more than you're comfortable with. Hmm. Preston. Please. Why? Just go it? away. Uh -huh. Look, I, I, I have really not in the mood for this. Uh -huh. Because the last time we played like this, our food turned to burnt offering. Uh -huh. So I am famished and okay. I can't wait that tonight. Uh, so stop! Look I'm gonna concentrate. Yeah, babe. Honey, please uh, come. Uh, oh, babe, come on. Not again today. Uh, I mean, you can't be dressing in the car. That's why you have a house. Look, honey, I can't afford to be late. You know what today is? You miss breakfast again. Look, honey, I can have breakfast anywhere. Just have yours without me, okay? Mm -hmm. oh. You know the rule. Eat together or not eat at all. That's I it. know. But look, for today, make an exception for me. Hmm? I can't afford to be late, honey. Right. Hmm? I love you. I love you too. I love uh, you, baby. I gotta start driving to work for. Baby, don't worry, just stay and eat breakfast. Be careful, all right? right? All right, honey. <sighs> Finish up what I had in the kitchen. I gotta pay me my money now. Which 
two and be said transfer and all the go. You tell me say you no get catch with you. When I carry you all those worker, they carry you from where your motor spoil. Carry you go mechanic, carry you they run all those runs. You tell me say you no get cash. Now we don't reach here. Now you come to tell me say that work is transfer and all the go. All this. If you tell me say you no get cash, we tell me all about this one now. Okay, listen. I the grace, so I go no get for you here. I the grace. Pay me money now, me I come out. You tell me all about this now. I go no get for you. I know well, oh. Give me my money, me I come out here. Ah, we tell you about this one. Um, he's a taxi driver. I chatted him when my car broke down, but on getting here, I don't know. I think my my bank app. I don't know if it's network issues, but it's it's not going through. It's, it's fine. Oga, how much is your money? It's supposed to be seven thousand naira, but I removed two thousand naira. My money is five thousand. Five thousand. Call it. Is that my account number? Where the calls from? Call your account number now. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Three zero. Mm-hmm. Six eight. Mm-hmm. One six. Mm-hmm. Five six. Mm-hmm. Nine zero. Or bank. First bank. Prince Obina. Mm -hmm. Okay. Done. Ah! Oh, get it. Ah! Stop, stop. <laughs> Madam, thank you. God don't save you today. You want to transfer? I'll be ready to sir. Um thank you. Thank you so much. It's fine. It's fine. Yes, you're calling at the right time. I just got into my office. Oh, that's my woman. <laughs> that's well, cool. it's safe to say that I killed it. <laughs> mm hmm <laughs> Um, babe, I have to get back to work, okay? I'll call you soon. Oh, all right. I uh, love you. I love you too. Bye. Ah, uh, come in. Hi, how may I help you? I'm not sure I've seen your face around until today. Yes, um, the name is Eddie. I was transferred to this branch and uh, today is my first day. Uh, oh, uh, that's good. So um, I came to say thank you for earlier. I mean, I left my wallet at home and... Oh, I no, just... no, 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 it's fine. You don't need to explain. I just helped you out of a situation, so it's fine. But you know, I, I know, I know it's fine, but I just want Eddie, to... Eddie, I said it's fine. Why don't you get back to work? I have lots of work to do. It's fine, trust me. Yeah, back to work. Yeah, back to work. Yeah. Okay. So... Mm -hmm. How did it go? Were you able to see all of them? Them? Who? The new staff. Oh. Honey, they are not really new. They were just transferred. <laughs> so, what difference does it make? I mean, being transferred to a new environment automatically makes you new. Mm-hmm. Oh, I met one today. His name is Jackson. No. What's that his name again? Um, Eddie, yes. His name is Eddie. So I met him today. What? Hey, what is it? You're already friends with him? Nonsense. I'm not friends with him. Look, I just helped him out of the situation and he thanked me, that's all. Babe. Mm-hmm. Babe. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> you know I'll kill any man that comes close to you, right? No, I'm not joking. I'm serious. Oh my God. You see? You see, after you start calling me the jealous one, you can see that you're the jealous one. Uh -huh. Yes. 
You're Unlike, so jealous. Unlike someone who keeps denying it. Yeah, I'm jealous. Myself. I am very, very jealous. Because I have the most beautiful woman in the whole world. Aww. So I am jealous. I'm blushing. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So tell me, how did your day go? My day. Uh, my day. Uh, that should mm. be after. <laughs> you still not see? After this one. What are this? Come to my office now. What are this? Who brought this gift here? I don't know. You don't know? What do you mean by you don't know? You're my secretary. Who did you let into my office? The only person I saw walking into your office was one of the new guys. What? He said he had something to drop off in your office, so I assumed you sent him. Wait. Um, his name is... Um... Eddie. Yes, his name is Eddie. Eddie? Yes. Jesus Christ. Wait for me. Okay. Hi. He dropped gifts at my office. Oh yes, I thought you would like them. That's why I got it. No, no. This is inappropriate, Eddie. I mean, you don't have to do this. I already told you it, it's fine. You're making me very uncomfortable. But you, you saved my day. So I, I got it to say thank you. I understand. I understand you. But I do not want any more gifts. I already told you it's fine. No. Don't send me gifts. We're colleagues and we're friends. Look, you're grateful and I get it. But please, this has to stop. No more gifts. Let's leave it this way. No more gifts. I don't like this. Return these items to him. Now. And this should be the last time you will let anyone into my office without my permission. Okay? Yes, ma'am. What nonsense. Check these things. Hmm? This flower is very beautiful. And for the time you just see this from now, I will only return this once. Then I will hide this one and give it to Jerry, my boyfriend. That's what I will do. You're for my boss, and you risk me being sacked. Are you raising your voice at me? Huh? Are you raising your voice at me? Eddie, Eddie. Are you listening to me? Eddie. That Eddie. gift belongs to no one but hers. And you had no right to touch it. What is your problem?
What the hell? This guy sounds like a creep. Yes. Hey, do you want me to pay this guy a little visit at the office? No. Come on, babe, no. Everything is fine. There's no problem. It's just this idea of giving me gifts, even after I said he should let it go, that threw me off balance. But everything is fine. Well, you returned them, so I guess it's not going to bother you again. Ah, oh, I hope so. I really hope so. I hope he doesn't bother me anymore. You just adjust them and get something. Hmm? Promise me you're going to let me know, in case things get out of hand. I promise. Okay? I promise. Okay? Okay. Where is this? What, what are you looking for? Who's that? Uh, I don't know. What nonsense is this? What's going on? Baby, it's nothing. It's just spam messages. But I blocked the number already. You should worry yourself about. You know your baby is hot in demand. Uh uh. She don't say that. Mm. Don't say statement like that. I mean, it makes me feel you want to leave me for a hotter guy. Oh, babe, <laughs> that's ridiculous. You know I can never leave you for anybody, right? What? Are Come on sure? now. Are you sure? Mm. You want me to fight <laughs> you? <laughs> Of course, baby, you know that. I know that. Did she just block me? Did she? This is not how our love story ends. I hate it! How dare she try to reject me? Yes. Just arrange the file as I've told you. Oh! What? Are you startling me now? Waiting for me to come to work? I just want to steal a word or two before you go in. What do you want? Please, it's, it's too early for this. Please be fast. Well, I just want us to go on a date. What? Yes, you and I on a date. A date? Mm-hmm. Do you realize this is a workplace? Because I find this really strange. Look, it's just a friendly date, okay? Please, I just want us to sit... Is this about the help I rendered you? I already told you to let it go. But I can see that you're not ready to let it go till you do something for me. Yes. Fine. I'll go. You will? Okay. Later tonight then. Thank you. I'll see you later too. <laughs> she agreed. I told you. This is not like last time. She loves me. No. 
No, 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 no. Baby steps, bro. She accepted to go out with me. That means she would definitely agree to date me because of the feeling she has for me. <laughs> no. You don't have the right to think because you don't believe anything I say about love. Casey, you don't believe she loves me, right? But that's okay. You know why? Your opinion doesn't matter because you haven't loved a woman in six years. You know what? I will prove to you that she loves me. She has agreed to go out with me and guess what that means? It means I am in the right direction. I know she loves me. And there's nothing anyone is going to say that's going to change my mind. Yeah, she loves me. Babe, just calm down, please. Are you jealous? No, I am scared for you. I mean, this doesn't seem like normal behavior. Ah, oh, babe, babe. Exactly why I want to go on this date. So, in case he feels indebted to me, after he has paid the debt, then he will leave me alone. Please, don't start what you cannot finish. Look, honey, it's all going to be fine. I promise. Call me if anything comes up, okay? Of course, baby, I will. Hmm? Just relax. I'm in control. <coughs> All right. Focus on the word. Can you smell really nice? Can we just drive in silence? I think I love driving that way. Anything for you. So this does it for us, right? You don't owe me anything anymore. So we can go on with our business and move on with our lives. Together? Yes. Together? There is no together. I mean, you're new. And all this is making me really uncomfortable. It's not appropriate. Is it not? Because I see you enjoying this and I know how you feel. Excuse me. Look, from the very first day I saw you, I knew fate brought us together. 
you are my destiny. What nonsense are you talking about? What are you saying? This madness has got to stop. Sit down. Listen, Eddie. I am not going to be part of whatever madness you have made up in your mind. Okay? I said, sit down. Sit down. I want us to talk about our relationship. You're not leaving. Enjoy your food. I am leaving. And if you try anything funny, I will scream down this building. And I want you to stay away from me henceforth. I, I called your number, I called and called and you weren't picking. Honey, I should have listened to you. I should have listened to you. That guy is crazy. He's acting abnormal. I was rushing home because I wanted to stay away from him as fast as I could. <sighs> Listen, you need to ask that guy to stay away from you. I already did. But I will make sure I do the same at the office. <sighs> Honey, I was so scared. So what are you going to do? It's okay, all right? You're home now, all right? It's okay. <sighs> He's really scared. I thought he was going to hurt me. It's okay. Mm? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that guy kept acting abnormal. Is she lunatic? <gasps> she dares to walk out on me. Playing hard to get. Asking me to stay away from her. Can you imagine? That's not been hard to get. That's not been interested. Nobody dares rejects me. You know I don't enjoy you yelling at me. I know. She likes me. And you know me. Whatever I want, I possess it. She it's my property. What are you even talking about? Didn't you hear what I just said? I could tell from the way she looks at me. The look in her eyes, her body language. She loves me. She will come around. I know. Just watch. <laughs> Hello, sir. It's happening again. Yes, sir. What keeps buzzing me like this by this time of the night? What do we do for this kind of situation? Check the train left to right and that's all the right. It's insane. And he really need help. Yeah. Somebody need to help. Is this guy crazy? What is it? What's going on? Tick tick. This guy is totally out of his mind. What? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I know she likes them big. Whew. Something smooth for the night, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, come on, this is this is totally unacceptable. I mean, what is this? This is getting scarier than we thought. Who the hell does this guy think he is? I don't, I don't know. Listen, they should get to the police. I mean, they should see this as soon as possible. Babe, no, 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 please. Not the police. What do you mean? No, no, no. I mean, this is sexual harassment for God's sake. And by the law, he should be arrested. Do you want to let this slide? Of course I can't let it slide. But I, I don't want to go to the police. Then what? I mean, you want to sit here comfortably and allow this lunatic of a guy sending his nudes? Nudes for God's sake, babe! And you think I enjoy it? Of course I don't. But can you allow me to handle this? Please. Look, I don't know who this guy is, and I don't know what he's capable of. Allow me to do this. I mean, after doing what I have to do tomorrow, I'm sure he will be out of my way for good. Please trust me, okay? Just trust me. Babe. I don't like this, babe. I, I don't like this. Babe, come, come on. By the way, how, how did you get your contact, babe? Uh, we work in the same office, so that's not hard to get. Babe, please, allow me to handle this. You should trust your woman. I will handle this, I promise. Please. You can't go, go, I'm so sorry, ma. I tried stopping him, but he refused. It's okay, Mara, you can go. What do you want? How dare you? Watch your tone. I'm your boss. <laughs> You're my boss. Do you even know who I am? Having the guts to report me to the board of directors? You were acting inappropriate. And since I didn't want to go to the police, I decided to handle it the way I see fit. You sending me nudes. Your nudes. <laughs> I can't have it. We are in love. And that is what people in relationships do. Appreciate each other's bodies. You are delusional. Very delusional. Now get out. It is not over, peace. It is not over. Get out! Leave my office this minute. We are going to resolve this later. Just have a nice day at work. Nice bag. Mm, I love the smell. Don't miss me too much. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I don't understand what you mean. This man sent me his nude pictures. It's inappropriate. Please, I know. You know, I already showed you the pictures. You should be throwing him out. It's against work ethics. I'll look into it. I promise. There is nothing to look into. You should be throwing him out of this company. I mean, he even came to my office to throw tantrums. I 
feel threatened by him. I promise you, we'll handle it. Like I told you, we'll look into it. You've given this company all you have. Trust us to handle it. We can handle it. <sighs> Babe, I mean, what, what do you mean by they will look into it? He should be sacked and sacked immediately. I mean, which, which company will tolerate such a, such a lunatic of a person? Exactly. Exactly. But somehow the company thinks that they should investigate first before they do anything. And it pisses me off. Um, babe, you know what? Uh, let's give him the benefit of doubt. Okay? Let's just observe him from now on and see if there will be changes. Oh, there is none. Please promise to tell me. And I'll handle it. Right? Well, he didn't come to the office today. Neither did he bother me again. So I think we're fine. Babe, you're not listening. Did you hear what I said? Babe, look, I don't want this to put a strain on us. Please. Look, I'm fine. Okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Listen. It will not. Okay? I just don't want any word to bother you. That's all. I'm all right. I've got this under control. Hmm? So, honey, I need to concentrate. I'm submitting this tomorrow. So allow me to concentrate and work. <laughs> I'll be in the room, okay? All right, Dalina. Once I'm done, I'll come meet you up. Okay. Okay. What was that for? What is going on between you and the director? What? You're seeing him, aren't you? That is why he had the guts to hold your hands like that in the boardroom. That was just a friendly pat at the back for a wonderful presentation. Well, that is not what it looked like. I will not have you disrespect me in front of people. What happened in that boardroom should not repeat itself again. Let's go. If you ever try this rubbish with me again, I will make sure you regret coming in contact with me. Rubbish. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. The director wants to see you in his office right now. I said, get out of my face. What's wrong with you? Get this grasshopper. This is it. <laughs> now I can. 
got you. <laughs> Babe? I'm home. Babe? Johnson? Babe? He's not back yet. That's, that's strange. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. I'm fine. You're not back yet. Yeah, I, I sent you a thanks. You didn't say it. I didn't check. I, I went out with Kosi. Hey, what's going on? My mom called. Hey, it was a little emergency, so I had to rush home. Is everything all right? Um, yes, I'll, I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. All right, I love you, okay? I love you so much. Yeah, I love you too. Good night. <sighs> God help me. A horrible smell. Oh my god. I forgot to throw this out this morning. For the night, I miss you, and I know you miss me too. I need your help. I, I, I need you right now. That psychopath is trying to get into my house. Yes, he's at the door. He's trying to get into my house. Really? You're at my door? Johnson said you were not making calls. Yeah. He called and pleaded with me to come spend the night with you. God bless him. Because the last thing I want is to be alone in this house. Wait, wait. What the hell is going on then? Mr. Frank said you want to see me. Um, yes, I needed someone to report to about Eddie. 
And uh, I was meant to understand you are the best bet. Eddie. Yes. What did he do again? Again? <laughs> what do you mean again? You mean you don't know anything about him? His fight doesn't mention anything. Well, uh, out of the ordinary, no. If Mr. Frank knew all of this, and still sent you to me, then I need to speak with him first. And for peace, keep that woman out of his rage. He doesn't get any better. What do you mean by that? I think you need to talk to those people that transferred in here, Mr. Director. Peace is not safe. What the hell is going on? And what does it mean? Again? Oh. Look at this picture. This picture was taken here. He took this picture when I went out to dispose the waste. Look at it. But this is a view one's picture on WhatsApp. And you said this is not his number. Well, he could have used another number to send that picture. Come on, Kosi, don't, don't, don't talk to me like I'm crazy, like I do not know what I'm saying. I never said you were. I am just saying. You, you don't even have evidence to show that he's the one. Yes, it's a view one's picture, and the moment you view it, it's gone. You said you block his number, right? Maybe someone else will register the number. Oh, God, what is all this? I wish I had just, just left him with a taxi man. I wish I had just ignored him. Now look at me being followed around by a crazy psychopath. If this guy is convinced that he is in a relationship with you, it explains the gift, the date, and the jealousy. So what are you trying to say? He is delusional and obsessed with you. Yes, and that, my dear, can be very, very dangerous. Obsessed? Yes. Because <sighs> what have I gotten myself into? Oh, <sighs> God. Oh, this is crazy. <sighs> it's okay. I'm sure it will be over. I am fine. Why? Is it because I love? Is it because we are in love as destiny has designed? Everything reality shows otherwise of what you're saying. Peace isn't in love with you. As a matter of fact, you need to leave this girl alone. Why do you become an upright hater anytime I find someone to love me? Eddie, you need help. I suggest you get it. Remember where you were transferred here. Stop it. Just stop it. Good. But this might be your final chance if you don't behave yourself. Are you threatening me? Huh? You have no right. You know that. You know what? I see it in your eyes. The way they all looked at me before they left. I thought you were different. I have a lot to do. If they really don't want us to be together, it means she's cheating on me with the director and I will handle it. A, a woman isn't your skin shade than you. You don't know what you're talking about. You need help. <laughs> Let me help you. <laughs> Did I tell you I need help? Did I? I don't need your help. Just leave. I'm worried about you. It is not your responsibility. Love is a beautiful thing, and we shall conquer this. Get out.
Tears never dry from my eyes They never leave my bed What kind of life am I living? Is this the right way of living? From one pain to another Every day I am sob Is this the way I am gonna be? Living in pain and misery Why me? Oh, why me? Oh, why me? Now? Tears never dry from my eyes Why me? Now? Smile never come my way now. Why me? Oh, why me? Oh, my woman Tears never dry from my eyes Smile never come my way so when is that day I we have my freedom and do the things I want far away from this slavery? So have you decided on what to do about this guy? Come on, peace, I've told you to calm down. I'm working on it. Calm down? Can't you see that talking to this guy won't change anything? I need to understand something. I'm still your boss here. Yeah? And I'm in charge. I'm working on it, I told you. I feel threatened. I don't feel safe. This guy is not listening to you. He came to my house last night. Do you have any proof? Yes. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Casey. Do you have what I asked for? Yes, sir. Her name is Peace Martins. She has been in the company for the past nine years. She has led some award-winning teams. I emailed a photograph of her a few minutes before you called. Sir, I think these people should know the truth. He's getting worse. Eddie thinks this woman is cheating on him. And he's showing a high degree of jealousy. Have you checked in with the other woman? What's her name? Her name is Sarah Bade. It's not looking good, sir. Just lay off. And now we handle it from this end. Sir, I think this woman should be taken away from Eddie. And Eddie should be called back. Okay, sir. And don't do anything stupid. I repeat, don't do anything stupid. Yes, sir. I've had you. This guy stalked me. He took pictures of me when I was going to throw the trash and sent it to my WhatsApp as a view once picture. I can't view it twice. But that is no proof. The picture you showed me. If, if, if not, if not cleared of anything, in fact, the number that sent it is not his number. Would you say this if it were your daughter on my end? This guy has harassed me physically and sexually. And I expect you to throw him out. But I mean, this establishment has sacked people for way less. Leave my family out of this. Well, I am someone's family too. And I am talking about my safety. I need you to understand something. I can't sack this guy. He's not in my power to sack him. I can't sack him, can't you understand? Don't even think of it. The picture you showed me is of no proof. Anyone can send you that kind of picture. What other proof do you need? My dead body? Peace! You know what? It's fine. I am personally responsible for my safety and I will handle it the way I should. What are you planning? I'm going to the police. Since the company has refused to do anything, then I will go to the police. You do no such thing. Why? Oh, you're scared it will ruin the reputation of the company? Then do the right thing and throw him out! I cannot sack him, can't you understand? The person in question is the company owner's only son. Eddie is Mr. Frank's son. What? Yes. And by the way, where is he? Where could he be by this time of the money?
Now your smell goes with me everywhere I go. What's going on? Why is this whole place smelling like her? your call. He mean is not in his office. Isn't this work ours? He actually signed him for work, but I didn't know for certain where he left. Where the hell is he?
the head of the ring. She disrespect me like that after all we've been through and what the future holds for us. No, 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 this is, this can't be happening. Who the hell is that man? Where have you been? You left the office without telling anyone. But I need you to understand something. Your father might be the owner of this company, but you still have responsibilities here. I forgot something and I went to pick it up. What do you want? Last night, where were you, Eddie? Am I here reporting for work or I'm here for interrogations? Peace. <laughs> You don't have the right to ever say her name. I see how you hold her and I don't appreciate it. We have a very personal relationship. I don't like people in my territory. Stay away from her if you love your job. And I need you to understand something here, Eddie. I am still your boss here. And it's high time you apply work ethics. Stay away from peace. And who knows, you might stay longer here. Why were you calling my phone? You came here to work, and it's high time you face that. There's an assignment on ground, or you to be paired in groups. Like your team. Will she be there? There's peace in my team. What's the meaning of this? What's the meaning of that? Let's go into your office. We need to talk. We are not going anywhere. Let's talk here. Eddie, what do you really want? Are you trying to drive me crazy? Because you're really doing a good job at that. Why are you stalking me? Why? What are you talking about? Don't even play that game with me. You keep sending me messages at night. And now everyone in the office thinks I'm trying to throw you out. Now you're forcefully cutting yourself into my team. Because I deserve to be on that team, babe. And you know it. Hmm. Well, as a team leader, I have every right to vet my team. And you, Eddie Frank, you won't come anywhere close to it. All you can do is run. But you can't run from fate. You better not take me out of that team. Now let me tell you this, I stay where I feel there is a connection and I feel connected to you. You're insane. You're really insane. Fuck. You are my love and I don't want to hurt you. Don't you dare me. You hear me? Go to hell where you belong. <laughs> ah, I like that. Feisty. What 
whether you like it or not, I'm on that team. Hot. I'm fine. I'm okay. Okay. I was so worried. We kept calling you. Oh, I was in the meeting. But did I take anything? No, no nothing. Um, my wallet was there. My phone. My laptop. Nothing. I didn't take anything. So how did the person get in? Were the doors and windows open? Through the door. What? Yeah. He said the doors were open when he came back. That's impossible. I mean, I looked everywhere before I stepped out. Your photograph was moved. He said he smelt you when he entered the bedroom. Smelt me? What does that even mean? The smell of your perfume was everywhere. It was all over the room. I think whoever entered this house came looking for you. Yeah. This is getting scary. Babe. I need you to tell me the truth. Is there something you know that I need to know? No. I'll just sit and wait. I'll wait for a sign. There's always a sign. <laughs> Peace. You will be mine. You are mine and nobody else. Let's just wait. So, babe, is there anything about this that I need to know? Honey, I already told you everything. There is nothing. Someone broke into our home. We should be calling the police. Right? Hey, what are you both hiding from me? We already called the police. They were here. They couldn't find nothing. They said since nothing was taken, we should just alert them in case of any other thing. What? That is why I'm asking you, babe. I need you to tell me the truth. Is there anything you're keeping away from me? Is that um, lunatic of a guy still bothering you? Was it the one that broke into our home? No. No, baby, he's not. He doesn't bother me anymore. We already sorted that at the office. Please. Honey, it's fine. All right. Fine. Let's say um, you forgot to lock the door before stepping out. I mean, because there's no logical explanation as to how anyone broke into our house. I'm just, I'm just happy you're not hurt. I'm happy you're fine. All right, so I need to rush off to get something for us to eat. I'm so hungry. Wait, are you going to leave us here alone with what is happening? 
Look, whoever broke into this house, I believe did that because there was no one in. Okay? But now I have you two soldiers here, so don't worry, I won't be too won't be out for too long. Alright. It's alright, baby. Just be safe, okay? I'll wait here with Kosi till you get back. Alright, I'm coming. Mm -hmm. Hey Kosi, I'll be back soon. Okay. <laughs> Not here. Let's go upstairs. Let's go. I am trying my best not to think that this guy actually came to my house today. Is there a reason to think so? You all were at work, right? We all weren't. This guy was missing from work for hours. Yes. And look. Just look at this. He has called me over 20 times in 10 minutes. And he's passed me with messages that I don't even open. This guy is really crazy. He's insane. This is really scary. And the most annoying part is that he was placed on my team today. That what? means I have to work with him for the next six months. What? Why did you agree to such? Girl, you should know me better. I did not. But the plot twist is that he is the only son to the owner of the company. And that makes him the... The heir to the company? Exactly. Jesus. You know, something bothers me. When I threatened him today, you needed to see the fire in his eyes. He warned me. As a matter of fact, he told me that he doesn't like being dead. Ooh. And that I should not even think of taking him off that list. I do not like the sound of this. <sighs> if this guy is fully assured that he's in a relationship with you, that means you're dealing with a mentally unstable person here. And you might be in serious trouble. So what do I do? What do I do? <sighs> this is hard though. Because even me, I don't have an idea. Oh my God. Eddie. Eddie, are you home? Not again. Hello? Mr. Frank, the hospital just called me. Mr. Abi just passed away. Yes. I need to. I need to call peace. At least I need to warn her.
May I help you? Yes, you may. So you are the man that has held my woman captive. Your woman? I, I don't understand. I what, am talking what? about peace. What? She doesn't want to live with you. Why are you forcing it when she wants to live with me? You are Eddie, right? The young man that has been disturbing my woman, peace. You're stalking us, right? Don't you ever say her name again. Ever! Listen. I don't know who you are. I don't, I don't, I don't even want to know who you are. But I don't ever want to see you anywhere around my life. Ugh. Who are you talking to? You, are, you, are you talking to me? You're only going to hurt her. That is all you're going to do. Just leave my woman to come be with me. Leave her alone. Do you hear me? Leave her alone! You have a call and safe number, right? Yes. That's him. Don't speak. Hello? How dare you come to my house? How dare you? Look, if you ever come close to me again, I will make sure I kill you. He was at your house. Who's this? Someone who knows a lot about Edie and wants to help. Are you free? Can you come out now? What? How am I sure you're not another guy who has gone local, who is trying to drive me out of my mind? Because you're in danger, peace. I've been holding up warning you a long time. Make sure you're not followed by him. I'll set an address. Meet me up in 30 minutes. Wait, um, uh, hello? Where are you going? I just found someone who's willing to spill something about this weather. Of course I'm going there. Just like that? Yes. It seems you got a death wish. What about Johnson? What will you tell him if he comes back here and you're not here? You're coming with me. So on our way, we'll call him to meet us there. Let's go. Let's hurry. Come on, Kosti. Let's go. Hey! 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 I'm so sorry. What happened? What happened? What happened to you? Huh? Let's take him. Let's, let's, let's just take him in. Let's take him in. Sorry. Sorry. Did you get any drugs? Yes, yes, I did. How is he? He's stable and he's awake. I usually carry my first aid kits with me. Yeah. Apart from the wound, I think he will be fine. Okay. Yeah. Kosi, this guy did this. He's trying to destroy my relationship. He's doing everything possible to destroy us. Peace. I think it's time for you to quit. Quit what? My job? Yes. Because you're feeding this widow your presence every day. And he's getting more attached. I can't. I cannot quit. Because see, I have poured nine years of my life into that job. So you want me to throw everything away because of a crazy guy? Hell no. That guy is becoming physically violent every day. Look at what he did to Johnson. Can't you see? Kosi, he loves me. How? Oh. He won't hurt me. I see. All I have to do is just to go to Johnson so he can tell me what he saw and then we'll call the police. I've said my mind. Can I, can I see the drugs, please? The right hand. Please, let me go be with him. All right.
Baby, baby, look. I was... Baby, I thought I'd lost you. I was really scared. I was so scared. You lied to me, didn't you? Oh, babe. Babe, please don't be like this. What nonsense are you talking about? That psycho is still bothering you and you had the opportunity to lie to me? Even when you know how dangerous this could be? Babe, look, I... I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I thought it was something I could do. I thought I could handle it. I didn't know it was going to get out of control. Please. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Enough of this madness. Resign from that job this minute. No! I can't! What did you say? You can't. Listen, babe. I have more than enough to take. In fact, I earn more than enough to cater for us until you're able to get another job. I insist. Resign from that job. But you know I can't. I can't do that. That job is all I've known my whole life. I can't just wake up and throw it away. Honey, look, you saw his face, right? I mean, we could go to the police station and... And what? Peace and what? What are you even saying? Do you think we're so desperate? I mean, we're looking, on, we're looking for something whatsoever to, to pin on this guy. You have to resign from that job. I'll quietly walk away. Is this a joke? What I'm saying is, you have until weekend to choose between us or that job. Tears never dry from my eye. Been never leave my bed. What kind of life am I living? Is this the right way of living? From one pain to another. Every day I am sob. Is this the way I am gonna be? Living in pain and misery. Why me? Oh, why me? Oh, why me? No tears never dry from my eyes. me? No smile never come my way. So why me? Oh, why me? Oh, why me? No tears never dry from my eyes. No smile never come my way. So why Breakfast is ready. Honey, come on, don't do this. Hi, Kosi. He's right. He's right, peace. There's nothing in that job for you anymore, as far as Eddie is still there. We all see how dangerous that guy can be. How much more are you willing to lose in this madness? How much? Well, call me if you ever need me.
Please text the address. I'm ready to meet. Would I be up to if not work? No. Do not say her name ever again. You're here to meddle, right? I didn't cause it. She caused it. You caused it, and Casey caused it too. It is everyone's fault except mine. I'm okay. I am not sick. Love is not a disease. Dad, do not call my phone if this is the only thing you're going to talk about. Good day, Dad. My sweet condolences to his dad. I have a meeting in the office. If you do anything stupid this time, I personally will hand you to Get back home. And I won't recognize myself. We shall conquer it all, my love. We just need to find a safe place. The people will understand us. Mr. Casey? You can call me Casey. You can see me. Thank you. Please. Please, I need answers. This guy attacked my fiance last night. And now I fear for my life too. He did what? Yes. Look, I need your help on how to deal with this. This guy has taken everything, including my sanity. He has taken everything away from me. Please, I need you to tell me what exactly is going on. Please, I brought you here to warn you. You're not his first victim. Victim? What do you mean by victim? <sighs> that was a woman called Sarah Bide. She died last night. What? Eddie fell in love with her before he was transferred here. I, I don't get, I, do, I don't understand. I told you that this guy was caught in my house, beating my fiance. And what happened to this lady? My boss gave an instruction not to let you close to her office. Get out of my way. 
If he insists, I'm going to call the security on you. What? Yes, you heard me. Do you know who I am? Who are you? I said, get out of my way! Eddie! To my office right away. I don't answer to you and you know it. Will you answer to me or would you be thrown out by the security? <laughs> You're bluffing. Eddie fell in love with this woman a few months before he was here. Just like you. He was following her all around everywhere she goes. Hers was worse. Because they were neighbors. Right. So someone had it worse than I did? He broke into her home, where she was with her husband. Beat them up, claiming she was cheating on him. He also broke into my house yesterday. The mom was able to fight him off. But not before Eddie beat the woman into coma. Jesus Christ. How come he's still roaming the streets? When you all know about this, you just change its location and assume it's not going to repeat itself. So what about the man? Didn't he arrest him? Nobody saw him. I had to stand as an alibi, claiming he was with me the whole night. His family is wealthy, so you know what that means. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry the company can no more condone any of your actions anymore. You're ordered to resume treatment immediately. What? That is bullshit! What are you telling me? This is bullshit! Maybe you're not properly following. I am telling you that you have been dissolved of your duties here. You don't have the right. You hear me? You have no right. I the am heir. there. The heir, I know. But I want to let you understand something. The order came from above. And your father ordered me to throw you out. Yes, and if you don't go for help, you might end up to inherit the four walls of a cell. <laughs> With the way you're going. My father will never do that. We had an agreement. And if I'm to advise you, don't bother making use of any of these ATM cards. The financial office has cut off your access to them. You're lying. Yes. Don't you dare lie to me. You are lying! <laughs> well, uh, your flight tickets have been sent to your email back home. So go home and pack your things. Oh. 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 <sighs> Here's the thing, we had an agreement that a new environment will help him receive treatment while he works in his father's company. Treatment? What treatment? I'm sure by now you know it is not okay. He suffers from erotomania, a form of obsessive love disorder. That's why he's certain you're his destiny. And? His father is trying to recall him home. And if he agrees, that means you're free to work. And your salary for the next six months will be doubled for the stress. And what if he runs away? I mean, let's not act like that's not an option. His father will call the police. But if that be the case, he's going to want the worst from you. The worst? How do you mean the worst from me? He's going to ask you to date him. And your answer will be no. And that will trigger him to want to hurt you. Oh, hurt me? Oh. 
What I'm saying is, run till we find a way to get Eddie out of here. Why are you helping me? I mean, you, you don't know me. Eddie is probably your friend. He's a very disturbed person. From neglect in childhood to low self-esteem. I was covered up for him. But I can't stand and see him hurt anybody else. So quit asking these questions and what? And run. Run for your life. Thank you. Thank you so much. Dad, you can't do this. Please. I am not coming back home. I can't leave her here for anybody. I can't. What will she do without me? Asking me to come back home. For what? Friends. 
You're going to choose my father's side and abandon me? Eddie, I'm not abandoning you. I'm helping you. But you know, I love her. I love her so much. And the only help I need right now is how to get to her. That's not happening. Go pick your other things and let's leave. I'll be authorized to love this building. Why can't you all understand that I love this girl? I am not going anywhere if she's not with me. Eddie, don't love what is wrong with all of you? You don't love this girl. You're sick. You need help. Pick up your other things. Let's leave. Eddie, please. Please. Don't do this. I don't want to ever fight you. Please. 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 Don't touch me. Please, why this? I quit, sir. I mean, I've worked here for the past nine years, and I feel it's only right for me to do this myself. I quit. What? You can't do that. You're one of the best brains we have here. Well, guess what? If I remain here, I might end up with no brains at all. What are you talking about? I dismissed him already. Eddie don't work here anymore. Yes, that's what you wanted, right? To throw him out because he's a threat to you. You did that today. Order came from above and he's gone off this place. You have your office back. Um, how did he leave? Willingly? Uh, well, uh, I can't really say. I, I, I need to get us up here. I mean, none of this is going to favor Wait, 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 wait. Peace, peace. You can stay back, peace. Ah. What is wrong with everyone in this office? Ah. Ah. Baby, I've been looking all over for you. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Marry me. Marry me so we can, we, we can run away from all these people where, where, where they will not find us. Which is just you and me. You are out of your mind. You're crazy. You're insane. Just stay away from me. Stay away from Please. me. Hey. I don't take no for an answer. Casey. She just left the office. She, she quit and ran off. I think she went home. I, I, I don't know what's wrong with every... Uh... I think I just heard her. You're my woman. And you're coming with me. Okay? Come on, let's go to the car. Let's way. go to the car. Yes! <laughs> Stupid thing. She switched off her phone. If I can't have her, nobody else will. Ever. Enough of these people running. Love is a beautiful thing. Damn it. Let your filthy hands on my woman! I will break you! 
Come back home and alone. As a woman, stay home. Get your hands. Don't even think about it. Turn around and go on your knees. Now. Tell them. Tell them she's my woman and that we're in love. Tell them. Don't do this. These men don't love you. They don't love you. Okay? Move him. No man can love you the way I do. <laughs> Tell them! Take him away. Tell them, please! Tell them! Psychopath. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right, okay? It's over. Okay? It's over. It's over. All right? So, Jesus. Me. I'm sorry I got here late. <laughs> Wait, where is he? He took him away. It's, it's okay. Thank oh God. Uh, he, he called the police. In case he had called the police. I mean, my, I wasn't even thinking straight. My head was so filled up, so he called the police. Thank you. Thank you so much for looking out for me. Here. What's that? Compensation. The company don't want to lose you. He's going to be locked up for treatment. I won't ever bother you again. So in case you think about taking back the job, the position is still yours. I'm so sorry for all of this. Um, this is a shake of 20 million naira. 20 million naira? Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. But I have to discuss this with my man. My real man. It's okay. See you around there. Thank you. Thank, Thank God everything is over now. Yeah. Everything is finally over. Yes, it is. It's over. Oh, God. Hey, it's insane, but nobody knew it. He got a problem. Hey, it's a psycho. How can you fall in love with another man's woman? Best time in a woman in love with another. It's insane, it's insane, it's insane. Hey, what do we do for this kind of situation? Checked it from the left to right, and that's all alright. It's insane, and he really need help. Yeah, somebody need to help. He's really losing his mind, he needs help. Somebody need to help He is so obsessed and he's losing me help. Somebody hold him down before he hurts someone help. Somebody go now he won't run We are help. losing the man Cause he's going insane But nobody knew it. He got a problem. Hey, it's a psycho. How can you fall in love with another man's woman? Best time in a woman.